curly hair journey. And if you hear any screaming, my boyfriend's playing video games, which I told him to play video games because I'm in here filming and I hate when he can hear me talking to you guys because this isn't about him, this is about me and you, okay? Hi, my name is Paloma Henderson, if you've never seen me before. It's so fun to have you. I'm not talking to a camera, I'm talking to you guys. So I like to give us privacy. I don't want him to hear us because this is girl time. Okay. Don't forget to give this video a like and click that subscribe button for me, babe, so YouTube can be notified that I'm gaining more of you guys and push this video out to more beautiful people like yourself. As you see in the title, I'm gonna be straightening my hair today. I haven't straightened my hair actually in about two months, which for me is so good. I grew up being a girly that wanted to have my hair straight all the time. I was not someone that really embraced my curls at a young age. So if you're a young girly out there and you have curly hair and you just wanna be like everybody else and have straight, cute hair, you can have that, but embrace your natural curls. Fun fact, only 11% of the people in the world have curly hair. You are part of the 11%, okay? So what does that mean? Today we're gonna be straightening my hair because I actually need to do a trim. It is mandatory to get your hair trimmed every six to eight weeks. Trust me, it's something I had to learn too, but for your hair to grow, it has to have those healthy ends and you wanna constantly be growing healthy hair. So you always wanna continuously be cutting off the bad. That's such a good life lesson. You always wanna be continuously cutting off the bad. Trademark that. But the first thing that we're gonna, oh, my hands are kinda oily. <laughs> the first thing we're gonna go in is we're actually going to oil our scalp. So. I'm gonna do a little treatment and you guys are gonna get a little inside look into my everything shower. I have my oil in a glass of hot water. It's nice and warm. So the oil that I'm using today is the Dugro Stimulating Hair Oil. I'm also gonna go ahead and grab my scalp massager because this is gonna... This is gonna help stimulate all that new growth. I've been trying to stay on a strict regimen of once a week making sure that I deep condition my hair with a nice mask before I go in with normal conditioner. And once we get in the shower, we'll go through all that fun stuff. But the earrings are coming off, so you know it's getting serious. Give you guys a little ASMR. But this is the hair scalp massager from Eco Tools. And everything that I have in this video, I will have linked below. But I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my stimulating oil and I'm gonna put this all throughout my scalp. Let me just say this, I am not a hair expert whatsoever. I am not an esthetician, I did not go to hair school, I do not have my cosmetology license, like I am just a curly hair girl trying to grow her hair nice and long and healthy. So if there's any tips that you can give to me, please, like, please, please. And if there's anything that I'm doing wrong that maybe you don't think works for my hair, please put it in the comments because I want to know. Like if you know more than I do, which most likely you do, let me know so we can all help each other out. And now I'm gonna go in with my Ego Tools scalp massager and I'm gonna do this for a few minutes. And with this, you don't, you don't have to be scraping your scalp so hard. Just give it a little bit of pressure and just move in small circular motions. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna just put our hair up in a very, very loose bun and tip. When you're putting your hair up in a tight bun or a tight ponytail, whatever, make sure you're using the right hair bands. So this hair tie is actually, I have no idea what this brand is. I'm gonna have, um, and obviously I'm gonna have them linked below, but this is for thick curly hair girlies. I've noticed such a difference in my hair after using this hair tie compared to this hair tie. Oh my God, I need to throw her away because she was 
not this big when I first got her. You can never go wrong with a scrunchie. This is a satin scrunchie, but I would absolutely recommend throwing out all of your cheap hair ties because they're not good for your hair, especially if you're someone like me who puts their hair up a lot. Save yourself at least some type of breakage by using the right hair tie when you do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a satin cap on, which will kind of just help all those oils kind of just, you know, just absorb. Let's get ready. I'll meet you in the shower. First, I'm gonna go in with my Method Body Cucumber Seaweed Green Tea. I have been using this stuff for literally years. And get yourself one of these. But these are better for you than Lupus because they don't contain so much bacteria after you're done using it. For me personally, I really like to use Harry's razors because it comes with a subscription and you can, I've had this body, this Harry's body for like two years now and I just replaced the head, so it's really nice. You gotta get rid of sometimes. Comment down below if you have any good exfoliants, like skin exfoliants, because I used to have a few, but I just haven't gotten any recently. Now while we're in this steaming hot shower, I'm gonna go again with my, my Eco Tool Scalp Massager and I'm just gonna go over my hair. We're gonna go in with our Argon Oil Repairing Shampoo. This 
is a repairing conditioner. kind of been like marinating in this turby twist for about like 20 minutes now. This is my hair right out of the shower, giving Lord Farquhar. The next thing that I'm gonna do with all of this is we're gonna go in and blow dry. But before that, we're gonna put a little bit of moisture back into this hair. So first we're gonna go in with the heat protectant. This is the Garnier Fruity Style Flat Iron Perfection Spray. You need a heat protectant. If there's one thing you need or one thing you get from this whole video, get a heat protectant. So we're gonna go and spray this all throughout. You don't need to saturate your hair. I feel like a misconception with heat protectants is that you need to like coat your hair in it. You don't need to coat, you need to mist. Works better when you mist. And you do not wanna to put too many products in your hair because the whole point is to give it that silk press feeling. Like you want it to move, you want it to bounce. You ain't fucking with a ball. Ciao. Anyway, so, you know what I mean? And the next thing we're gonna go in is with a little bit, a little dab of the BioSilk Silk Therapy. That much. You see that? Right, now we're gonna go in and actually blow dry my hair. I'm gonna use my, my Revlon blow dryer. I'm actually gonna section off my hair in half just to make it a tad easier on me. And you can section your hair however you like. Me personally, I don't have, my hair isn't that thick. I have a lot of thin hair, if that makes sense. My hair seems thick, but it's thick because there's a lot of thin hair. I'm actually gonna section my hair off into four sections, so we're gonna cut. I'm gonna go in with my same brush that I used in the shower, and I made sure to rinse this off with hot water so that there's no buildup of product left on it. And I'm just gonna brush my hair out, starting from the bottom, working my way up. And everyone thinks that the main, the main work goes into flat ironing your hair, no. The main work goes into blow drying your hair. The more straight you can get your hair when it's blow dried, the better it'll be when you start to flat iron it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set my blow dryer to warm and I'm gonna put it on high heat, so. This is one section done. So she's like right at the nip. Last time I straightened my hair, my hair was just not healthy. So I'm probably gonna have to cut off a lot. I'm actually growing out all the blonde and the bleach that I used to have in my hair. I'll put a picture of the screen of how blonde my hair was and how long it was. The fact that it was that long and it was that blonde like, astonishes me, like truly astonishes me. I don't know what, I don't know what happened in between then and now, but like anxiety. Anxiety and depression, but that's what happened. So we're on our journey of growing her back to that length. But this is where she's at right about now. She's right about at the nip, you know what I'm saying? But we'll probably cut off at least half an inch. Give her a little trim. Actually, looking at my ends, they're actually pretty healthy. <laughs> Why am I saying that like I'm like questioning it? We're gonna go ahead and do this throughout my whole head. I'll be right back, bestie, and we'll get ready to flatten iron our hair together. And we're done, finally. Oh my god. After I blow dry my hair, I normally like to either blast it with cold air or let it sit 
and just kind of let the temperature of my hair go back to normal. She's all nice and blow dried. This is just about the best I could get it blow dried without just losing my freaking mind because it's such a tedious task. I'm now gonna go in with my Remington flat iron. I've had this baby for such a long time. I don't believe that there is like a perfect flat iron. Cause you know, when you go and get a silk press, if you've ever taken a look at the flat iron that silk presses your hair when you go get it done, it doesn't look spectacular. It looks beaten up. It looks beaten up. And I'm gonna go in with the color wow. I love this stuff. I've been really putting it to the test the last time that I straightened my hair. I'm not gonna lie, my hair shouldn't have lasted how long it did for how just not healthy it looked. I always use color wow once I start to flat iron my hair because that heat is like directly pressing it into the hair strands. Always wanna make sure while you're doing your hair, it has movement. When you blow dry it, blow dry your hair in different directions. So the strands, each side of each strand is getting coated with air and it's drying. Cause when you blow dry your hair one way, it's gonna stick that way. So you never want to just blow dry in one direction. So I went ahead and sectioned off. This is going to be our first section. And so I'm going to go ahead and take piece this big. I'm going to put it down. Take a flat iron. And my flat iron doesn't go, it doesn't ever go higher than 370. Even when I'm flat ironing my hair, I do not like to put 400 heat on my hair. I haven't actually done that since I was in high school. But if you have higher density hair, or if you have 4C or 4B, anything honestly above 3B hair, I would most likely advise putting it up to 400, just because you really want to make sure that you're getting the right amount of heat throughout each strand. I'm gonna pump it up to my roots three times and then pull all the way down once. That's what happens when I try and look all professional. And you saw that steam? I'm not frying my hair off, babe, don't worry. That's what's happening when all that heat is hitting those oils. I'm gonna grab another little section. I'm gonna pinch the comb with my thumb and my index finger. Pump it to the root three times. And then chase it down nice and slow. I do not like to do more than one pass, especially with me trying to grow my hair back out. Go for my ears. We're gonna go ahead and do those exact same steps. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and put on YouTube because I'm gonna speed through all of this because I just did a section with you. kind of the crown of my head. Go across, get out a section like that. I'm gonna do my roots. Oh, oh, that was really hard to do. I hope I caught that on camera. Awesome. Oh, I did, okay, yay. The front part of my hair, which is like my bangs and everything, that I want to have volume. I want to be able to like, like you know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm gonna go down the side. So I only do it this way because I part my hair down the middle when I have it straight. I have about like one more section till I hit the middle. So I'm gonna do the same two sections on this side and then we'll do the last two sections together. I did those other two sections. Now we're gonna go and do the section that's right down the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair. 
I'm gonna go about an inch in. This is really tedious, this is how I do it. I'm not saying this is how you have to do it, but I'm just showing you how I do it. So I go in about an inch in, and this is gonna be like the front part of my bang. So all of this, like that's the front part. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do this part normally. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. I'm gonna go in about an inch in, that hair out. I've made it to the last two little sections. This is the last section in the front. So this would technically be like bangs. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to and kind of curl back. So you know how when you would set your rollers to like do like a blowout look? That's what I'm gonna do, but with my flat iron. It. I'm literally not gonna move. I'm just gonna let that cool down just like this. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and pull those two pieces down. Hey, and we're kind of done, y'all. I am gonna put a few curls down here because that curl that I just did in the front was only done to these two pieces. So I'm gonna curl a little bit more down here, but we need to trim these pieces first. <laughs> I am actually going to trim the ends now. Do I need to get hair scissors? Yes. Do I have hair scissors? No. But you gotta do what you're working with, you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna do a little trim. We're not doing nothing crazy. And the way I trim my hair, most likely not the right way. So I'm going to just take my comb. Let's do this. stop it there because if you know me I can get scissor happy exhibit a exhibit a and where is it and exhibit B I cut it when I was taking out a leaf no I cut it when I was taking out the same braids so obviously I'm a little scissor happy so now I have hair everywhere I'm gonna go in and just do a few little curls. I'm not doing nothing crazy. This is the finished look. I am praying you can see this when I turn around. And it is dark outside, so I will go ahead and put some pictures on the screen of what I'll look like tomorrow because I'll also have makeup on and I'll just feel a little bit more put together. Guys, I'm growing out all of my blonde. It's really weird to see my hair like all black. It's been a really long time since I've seen my hair all black. I actually, I, I actually cannot tell you the last time that it's been all black straight. I don't remember, honestly. If you made it all the way to the end, I just wanna say, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video or I hope you learned something from this video or at least I hope you had a good time watching. Don't forget to give this video a like. Hit that like button for me, please. I'm going to do that cringy ass YouTuber shit that everyone does at the end of their video. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and don't forget to click like and that bell notification so every time I post a video, you will be notified. Now that that's over with, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your night, great rest of your evening whenever you're watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bestie.